Scorpio Sun, Cancer Moons, welcome to your 2021 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. When you see it is when you were meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. So make sure you check out your 2020 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. I'm doing these in the order of requests and comments. Be sure to post yours up. Also, oh, okay. The first portion of this reading will be, we'll go over the traits of your sun moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2021. The second portion will be the video link below where I will pull clarifiers and have a deeper interpretation of the cards. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. Other things to mention, check out my playlist for what is your ideal career based on your mid-heaven sign and what is your part, what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign. That is a work in progress. Ask me a question on Instant Go, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's read up on the traits of your sun moon sign. So Scorpio sun cancer moons, deeply emotional and intuitive. You have an intensity many people can sense. You're essentially loners and people have to work hard to gain your trust and get into your inner circle of confidants. You will also protect that those close to you because you're compassionate and nurturing. At times, you can let your emotions guide your judgments, but you rarely lose your temper. In relationships, you can be mysterious and people have a hard time understanding you. You can spot a lie a mile away and hate superficial people. Expression of feelings, both emotional and sexual, is not a problem for you, nor is true intimacy. Your ideal mate is someone who likes family life and has few inhibitions. Be careful of being too needy or possessive in your relationships. In career, you are drawn to vocations that help or heal people. You may find yourself in fields of medicine, social work, clergy, or even science. You like working for people rather than with people. Working best alone, you don't like relying on other people to solve problems, yet you would help anybody who asked. So, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine God, universe, can you please find the truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpio, Sun, Cancer, Moons. For the year 2021, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine through your messages, any messages that you have? Scorpio Sun, Cancer Moons, 2021. What do you see? What do they need to know for their greater good? Any messages you have, we thank you. Okay, what do you see January, February, March? January, February, March for Scorpio Sun, Cancer Moons. We have the Ace of Wands and the Upright. April, May, June for Scorpio Sun, Cancer Moons. We have the Sun card and the Upright. Good start to the year. July, August, September. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. This keeps getting better and better. October, November, December, or, or, or the magician card in reverse. I was like, I spoke too soon, right? Isn't that how that always happens? Um, but we'll get to that when we get to clarifiers in the Vimeo. Okay, so Ace of Wands in the upright, great start to the year. You're very passionate, very excited about something. The Ace of Wands to me has a sense of urgency to it. Like you jump out of bed and you can't wait to get get to do something or tell somebody how you feel or get on a project or you have an amazing idea that's gonna inspire, that's gonna change things. Um, so that's what's going on in January, February, March. And I think that is really awesome. So start to a good thing. Good things continue in April, May, June. We have the sun card in the upright. So things don't get better um, other than the sun card. I mean, the sun card is one of the best cards, if not the best card out of the entire deck. So it's kind of like um, during April, May, June, you're experiencing um, you, um, being really true to yourself, not having anything to hide, very happy, very radiant, you're glowing, you're experiencing good health, everything is going in your favor. Some of you might take a vacation to a warm and sunny spot, which is sometimes um, one of the messages of the sun card. Um, you know, it's a card of just being as ha like as happy as you were when you were a kid and you really didn't have like anything to worry about and you're really optimistic. So it's gonna be really good for you in April, May, June. Five of Cups in reverse shows you um, in July, August, September, really starting to 
feel like your old self again. So, you know, going out with friends, um, you might have, uh, the Five of Cups is having gotten over something really terrible. So um, something that was really traumatic, perhaps a loss, sometimes it's even breathing the death of somebody um, and thinking that you're never ever gonna get over it. This could happen in 2021. And as a result of this stuff here, um, you actually get to a point where you're like, hey, I'm really starting to feel like myself again. I feel like going out with people and enjoying them. I feel like, um, you know, giving life another chance. I feel like living life to the fullest. Um, my concern is that in October, November, December, we have the Magician card here in reverse. So, I mean, this is, can go one of two ways and I'm not really sure exactly which way this is going. It could be that um, you're, you're trying to manifest your energies and it's just not working out. It's being really scat, energies are really scattered. You kind of can't get your brain together to do what you want to do. The other way that it goes is it could be a person. So you could, and, and it could clearly be both too combined because three months is a long time. And this is somebody who uses their power um, to try to get you to do something, manipulate you to do something, convince you of doing something that you wouldn't ordinarily do. Um, they're usually, they're, they're like the cheap car salesman, trying to sell you something that you don't wanna buy and you actually end up buying it. Um, this guy's a trickster. This guy cheats people out of things. So just be really wary. I mean, you have such a good year here and then it's like, boom, we fall on that guy. Um, so be wary. You'll know when you come upon it at the end of the year. So that is what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading and email me. Otherwise, join me in the Vimeo reading by clicking on the link below where I'll be pulling these clarifiers and I'll be going more in depth into these cards. Make sure you go to my playlist, check out your 2020 sun moon readings. What is your ideal career based on your mid heaven sign? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on instant go, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I will see you in Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.